LycomingFootball.com, we're talking to head coach Mike Clark and uh, Mike uh, going into week number five, mm -hmm. Lebanon Valley. Yeah. As I remember, that's not an overnight trip. No, we, we, we are. We, we started going overnight a couple oh, years oh, ago, John. Are, are you? Okay. Yeah, you know, it's just... Um, Two and a half hours, maybe for me. Right, it's, it's in a car, a bus a little longer, maybe. Yeah, we just, I mean, anything over two hours. We just decided a couple of years ago we'll spend some money. We, you know, we, we have a very generous alumni group, and yeah. you know, our parents, and and uh, so rather than go down the morning of the game, we 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 made the decision a couple of years ago. We just, you know, we spend the money, and we stay overnight. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Yep. I, I really thought it was a day trip. It, it'd be a tough day trip. Um, the last four games with Lebanon mm -hmm. Valley, three of them have been wild. You remember the mm -hmm. 2011 snow bowl? Yeah, we had some snow, you know. A little wet, bit of... but wet snow. That was pretty cold taking pictures. I yeah. know it was cold for the players. Yeah, that was that was, uh, that was was a unique experience. No yeah. completed passes in that game, as I remember. And, and Not uh, many. Yeah. We didn't have any. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I need <laughs> I, I, on our side. But yep. uh, still came away with the win. Mm -hmm. Last year, mm -hmm. an overtime win, a yep. big win for Lycoming. Yep. Uh, I think another year was down to the last few minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, in the year we lost, I guess, uh, uh, Lebanon Valley won the MAC championship. Yeah, 2013 yeah. we were co-champions, but, yeah. yep, they absolutely beat us and were the league's automatic qualifier. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That was a big uh, game with them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going down there, and as I read, uh, Lebanon Valley has a pretty decent running uh, yeah, they, back. Uh, yeah. Brent, Brennan, you know that first name? Is it is your son's name Brennan? Brendan, yeah. Yeah, Brendan. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Irving is that his last name? Yeah, they're yeah he's a uh, they're running back. Yards, yep, uh, he's average. he's a good player. They're, they have a really big offensive line. Uh, two very good running backs. I mean, they're you know they're 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 outstanding uh, at running the football. Yeah. Now, I was down for the Franklin and Marshall and uh, Lebanon Valley game. You mm -hmm. scrimmaged Franklin and Marshall, mm -hmm. uh, I think, earlier in the year before you started. Mm -hmm. And uh, like a scoring fest, 42-38 or something like that. Yeah, their opener was, was really back and forth yeah. and, yep, and, right down to the wire. And so uh, they uh, don't ha don't seem to have much for a passing attack. Is that, is well, that I mean, I, I, or is that a false... Uh, well, I mean, schematically, I think what they do is really sound. I don't know that they found the right quarterback uh, for any number of reasons. It might be an injury thing. It might be an execution thing. But they've played a couple different quarterbacks this year and, and not settled on one. So um, that that in and of itself is uh, it makes it tough. Um, but but I'm not sure why. But their ability to run the ball makes up for uh, makes up for it. They're they're really good at, at running the football. Yeah. Uh, I've noticed also in your press release mm -hmm. from the athletic department mm -hmm. that uh, you are getting uh, Coach Let Me In was a headline. Uh, you are getting some younger players in mm -hmm. uh, with some time, some freshmen. So, yep. uh, which reminds everyone, a Lycoming fan, this is a young team and uh, has a, a little bit, or you might say a lot of growing to do. Well, I mean, John, we, we, we certainly have proven that we still have some work to do. Um, but you can't – the young thing is, is while it may be accurate, it, it's not an excuse. And, and um, you, you know, um, we have to continue to coach these guys. We have to continue to, to get them to believe in, you know, the fact that we do think there's some talent here. Um, in fairness to the seniors and the older guys that have been here and, and anyone that's ever played football here, you know, we've got to try to find a way to, to win more games and um, – Part of that will be by making less mistakes, um, you know. Uh, so, so that's our goal. That's our emphasis is to, you know, continue to eliminate some mistakes. And, and there may be some young guys doing it, but you know, there's still some talented young guys. So we've got to we've got to get them to be more consistent, and uh, you know, all of our guys to be more consistent in their, you know, in their execution. Well, looking back at the Albright game, mm -hmm. uh, when I look over the stats and everything, I mean, uh, like coming is competitive and mm -hmm. really. Uh, Maybe the momentum's going their way, uh, but mistakes really hurt. Yeah. Uh, two mistakes in the first half, mm -hmm. a, a fumble yep. on the one-yard line mm -hmm. costs the score, and, uh, and, and maybe a, uh, a, a penalty, uh, uh, unsportsmanlike conduct mm -hmm. that, that killed a uh, drive in the first Yeah, half. I mean, the interception early was, um, w was a great Phillips, way to yeah. start the game. Um, 
but then the personal foul took us out. You know, then they punted and changed the field, and we got back down there. You know, the fumble, unfortunately, is not a fumble. Um, you know, Scott's knees on the ground. Oh, okay. um, doesn't matter. The referees called it a yeah, fumble, but yeah. but on the end zone film, you can clearly see his knee on the ground and. Yeah. You know, uh, one of those plays where you're struggling, they're piled up. And, yeah, and, and I mean, he kept fighting. Yeah. He kept fighting, and yeah. and but it doesn't matter. He can't put the referees in that situation. He needs to hold on to the ball. Yeah. Um, and, and so that would have helped. You know, we fumbled again later in the red zone, um, but early in the game too, we didn't get off the field in third downs. And then you know, the third quarter, they completely, after our scoring, uh, after our first quarter, third quarter, they completely controlled the field you know we wouldn't do anything we would punt they'd maybe not do anything pin us back in and we just never got any momentum going too many three and outs in the third quarter um you know our defense tried to hang in there but then we throw the interception which should be caught right and it's the second time this year against two good teams it was just like where, deja vu where a ball there. goes yeah. through our hands stevenson the same yeah thing. absolutely yeah. and those are two senior wide receivers yeah. that have to catch the ball yeah you know and instead yeah. they didn't and both set up scores uh against two good teams and you can't you just can't do that and be good teams john yeah well there seems to be a lot of talent must be mm -hmm. a little frustrating for a coach uh, to see that happening you you, you don't like the penalties mm -hmm. you don't like uh, yep. uh mistakes out there in the field but uh how do you something you can coach and combat well we're trying think, john it's frustrating for everybody i mean the players don't want to make those mistakes right i mean the, the, the guys don't want to drop it um, we certainly don't want them to not catch it. Um, the penalties, you know, are, are things that they have to learn to control their emotions and adjust to the speed of the game and not make those mistakes. I mean, those are those are just things that come uh, with experience. And uh, unfortunately, right now, um, you know, we continue to make them. But, but yeah, we're going to continue to emphasize it as coaches. Um, we're not going to allow it to happen. There's still seven weeks left in the season, right? Six, six games and a bye. Yeah. Uh, and that's a tremendous uh, amount of time for us to continue to improve um, because th there's still a lot of winnable games on our schedule. We, you know, we have six games left and, you know, we're, we're capable of winning all of them. Yeah. Um, but if we don't improve or don't get better, then I think that there are six teams on our schedule that are capable of beating us. Yeah. Um, and, and so we have to decide collectively um, – what do we want to happen, you know? Um, and hopefully we'll be able to win more than we lose. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, 1 o'clock game, I believe. Yeah, 1 o'clock. Yep. Uh, Anvil, mm -hmm. beautiful area. If you get a chance to get down, fans, which we get a good crowd going away. And uh, weather could be iffy again. Uh, we, we <laughs> Sounds like it. We've played underneath the umbrella before for me, yep. and you guys have been wet and uh, can't get any worse than Stevenson weather. And uh, That was pretty bad, but, hey, well, Look, both teams were playing the same weather, John, right? And, uh, you know, that was the same case at Stevenson. Like, you know, it did, you know, they didn't turn the water off when Stevenson had the ball, you know. Right. It so was just coming down all the time. It was, it was fair. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we'll do our best to, yeah. you know, to, to play as well as we're capable of come Saturday. Okay. Right. Uh, safe game, safe trip, you guys, and we'll see you Saturday. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, John. Yep. Bye.